What have we come to as a country that you can get pulled over for having a broken taillight, but if you wreck the nation's economy, you're totally untouchable? Presidential leadership is about the good of the many, not the greed of the few. Martin O'Malley joining me now, former governor of Maryland, current 2016 Democratic presidential candidate. It's great to have you here. Good to be back, Chris. Um, so let me ask you this. What's your theory of the case for the, how things look in this campaign for, say, the next two months, right? You, it's down to, uh, well, there's four people, but three who are going to be included in the debate, three who are included in the Jefferson Jackson dinner. Um, presumably, the next debate will be more focused. You will, you, will, you will sort of have a more prominent position. What's your theory of the case for the O'Malley candidacy in the next two months? My theory of the case is that the American people are looking for a new leader. We, in both parties, we can't be this dissatisfied with our gridlocked, uh, politics and this dissatisfied with an economy where 70 percent of us are working harder but not getting ahead. But isn't Bernie Sanders that, channeling that? I agree with you. People, that, that's clearly the case, but Bernie Sanders seems to be channeling the desire for that. Yeah, for now, Chris, but you've followed presidential campaigns before. The candidate, the challenger that's peaking in October is never the candidate that's peaking in February, and we're not going to solve our problems by debating the fine points and the pros and cons of socialism. We're not going to solve our problems by declaring that all Republicans are our enemies. America's looking for a healer. They're looking for someone that can bring us together to address our problems and do it in the new and entrepreneurial way that mayors across America are doing it. And that's my way of leadership. I'm not part of those old battles of the past. I'm about the future. That, but that, is that really, first of all, you're a politician. You, you, you're mayor of Baltimore. You're governor Please, in, in I'm Maryland. I'm a <laughs> You're a governor in Maryland. You know what politics look like. And one of the things we learned in the Obama era is one cannot unilaterally declare themselves a healer because, as they say uh, in West Point, the enemy gets a vote, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, look, man. Look, there's a reason why the president of the United States also has to be an effective leader of his own party. I didn't get things done in Maryland. Marriage equality, the DREAM Act, comprehensive gun safety legislation, repealing the death penalty, only with Democratic votes. Some of those things only happen with Republican votes, but we would not have been able to find the consensus and forge a new consensus for change if we were not strong within our own party. So you have to be a right. strong party leader. I'm not saying we're in a post-partisan age and an age when parties are done, but I am saying this that there's a lot more that unites us than divides us. And the beliefs that we share as Americans are the things that we need to focus on, not the divided policies of the past, not the worn out sort of coddling of Wall Street banks that our party fell into in the past. There are very clear differences in this election between the candidacy that I offer and that which Secretary Clinton has to offer. And those contrasts are going to become very apparent in the debates ahead. One of the things that you, you have put out a pretty comprehensive uh, uh, plan on, on criminal justice reform that uh, I think there's a, a, essentially an allusion to Sandra Bland in that, uh, in that speech you gave there, the woman who was pulled over for uh, not signaling uh, and, or, or, uh, and ended up dying in a Texas jail. I want to show you this video because it, it strikes me as this is part of what is driving a lot of the grassroots of the Democratic Party. This is this incident that happened in a high school in Columbia, South Carolina. It's a student who, as far as we know, had refused to get up. The school resource officers called in. Take a look. All right, that happened today. Again, the full context of that is not known to us. Your reaction to seeing that video? No, as a, as a parent and as a father, I would be rip ballistic if somebody did that to my daughter. That is, uh, that's pretty outrageous behavior. That's my reaction to that. I had the same reaction as a parent, I gotta say. Yeah, I, I mean, no, that's, uh, that's not appropriate behavior for any adult uh, to treat a kid. Now, my, my, my oldest daughter is a teacher in Baltimore City Public Schools. Uh, I have visited classroom after classroom. There's no excuse for, for uh, that sort of behavior. Um, when you talk about uh, distinguishing yourself from, from Senator Clinton, uh, Secretary of State Clinton, um, what's the one area you think that's going to emerge the most in the next two months? I think, that the, uh, I think that one of the most important areas is this. Look, we have seen Secretary Clinton shift positions on any number of issues right up until the eve of the debate. Uh, shift a position on Keystone, shift a position on Trans-Pacific Partnership. I was against Keystone a year ago. I was against Trans-Pacific Partnership 
eight months ago. The one thing she has not been, that Secretary Clinton has not been able to shift position on, is Glass-Steagall. And Break the big, the big mega banks. banks that now still threaten to crash our economy. She cannot change her position on that. As she said herself, she represented yeah. Wall Street. I think and I gonna, think that's a huge difference. I think we're going to see a lot more of that debate. Governor Martin O'Malley, it was a pleasure to have Thank you come you. by. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russer. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.